My name is Francisco Garcia, but many of you know me as Frankie Garcia. I was born and raised in the city of Los Angeles in a town called Highland Park. In the early 90s, my parents immigrated from Mexico to the U.S. They seek the better life for themselves, and they look to form a family so that their family and their children can have a better opportunity than the ones that they had. My father grew up working in the fields, and when he moved to the States, he worked in construction. At the same time, my mother always made sure to take care of the house and keep it in order. In the early 2000s, they were able to reach their dream of buying their first house. And with four children, me being the oldest, it got to the point where I had to leave my house for the first time. 2012, I left to San Jose State University to seek higher education. Upon entering San Jose State, I got to learn a lot about myself and a lot about different people from different backgrounds. I got to learn new cultures, new traditions, new languages. I got to meet some amazing individuals. I was always looking to be a part of something. And one in specific was an academic fraternity where I learned a lot about leadership, giving back to my community and being there for one another. But just like the good times, I had a lot of bad times as well. One of the darkest moments was in 2012 and 2013 when I attempted suicide several times. This was because of some memories that I had before my teenage years that I really never talk about. Those were very difficult times for me to come out from, but I'm glad that I'm still here. I realize that there's more in this life for me to accomplish. And thankfully, I didn't take my life away because in 2019, thus far it's been one of my biggest years. In 2019, I found out that I was going to be a father. I was living with my in-laws at the time. And in May of 2019, it made sense for me to get married. On August 31st, my daughter Jimena was born. She's now two years old. And the reason why I'm motivated and inspired to keep going, to establish a legacy not just for myself, for my family, but for my community. As a physical education teacher, and as a teacher in general, I was always finding ways to giving back. Now, as I reminisce on my childhood memories and think about the way that I was raised, I constantly look for ways to grow and provide back to my community. From the pandemic, I was able to adapt into a new role, a new business opportunity. A business opportunity that has taught me the concepts of financial literacy. Being in a position to be a student once again to learn about the fundamentals of a topic that is not really talked about in our communities or in our schools. Now, as a licensed professional, I have the ability to grow my business virtually and at the same time hold meetings with people from different states in the U.S. I get to leverage Zoom, have my meetings, have the opportunity to still hold a conversation with them educate them, share with them visuals, so that as I'm presenting, they're also following with me, they're learning and following along. Thankfully to this business, I have had amazing self-development. I have learned a lot about myself, a lot about the lack of financial literacy in our communities. Through this opportunity and becoming a professional, now that I moved back to Los Angeles after being gone for 10 years, I find myself expanding my network, always looking for ways to connect with different professionals, whether they are in the real estate industry, the mortgage business, attorneys, people in the medical field. I'm constantly looking for ways to grow as an individual and finding ways that they can collaborate with me because at the end of the day, I want to go back to my community and be able to help those in need. Now I took the initiative early in 2021 
to go back to my high school, Academia Avance. I went back and I had the opportunity to talk to the parents, to the teachers, to the students, and be in a position to share with them everything that I've learned from my undergraduate years to my professional years. Having the opportunity to go back directly to the classrooms, even during a pandemic, and talk to the students about my journey, share with them my memories of me being a student at this high school from the very first day that Academia Avance started. It's easy for them to relate to. As a Latino, as a first generation student, as someone who's barely 27 years young, they're able to hear from someone who's married, who's a father, who has been able to graduate from a university, who has been able to pivot and adapt into a new business world, where now my intention and my mission is to constantly motivate and inspire these young individuals to let them know that their dreams are valid and that they're attainable. Be able to teach them certain concepts that are not taught in our institutions. And not only that, be able to take it a step further and offer scholarship opportunities. Most of the students from Academia Avance are students from parents that are immigrants from a different country. And for someone like myself to come back and be able to offer more than what is typically offered in our communities, it says a lot. Now, it's not a one-man show. It takes an army for me to be able to accomplish something like that. But little by little, virtually or in person, I've had the ability to also talk to parents directly in their house and be able to talk to them about how to properly protect themselves, how to leave a legacy, how to establish a trust, how to protect their assets, how to invest their money, how to create a savings account for any emergency purposes, how to get themselves out of debt and be in a position to buy a house if they're a first time home buyer or be able to grow from that. Make them realize that it's not late, that if we're able to have this conversation always leading with education, they're always going to be able to learn and establish something that is going to benefit their children and the legacies to follow. As I continue my journey as, I, as a professional, I'm finding ways to collaborate with other individuals because now at 27 years young, I've been able to accomplish being a home buyer. As a matter of fact, I bought the house right next door to my parents and it's pretty awesome to see that they're able to see that their son is building an empire, is building a business that is not just for himself. My parents understand that my mission is to establish something that is going to benefit my community. And little by little, day by day, I'm having conversations and letting people know that my goal is to establish an institution where students and family members and people from my community are going to be able to, to attend in person my own place that is going to be Animo Sports Academy. An academy that will be designated for those individuals that have experienced trauma, people who are seeking tutoring, mentorship, career opportunities. Those are the individuals that we need to have in our community so that we can constantly grow and help our generations. You see, I'm just getting started here and I can't do this alone. And I encourage you and I invite you to follow my journey as I'm constantly building and making sure that we establish something that will forever last. That even when I'm gone, Animal Wealth Academy, along with everything else that I've established, will continue to live for generations after generations. And all I can say is to stay tuned and for yourself to always have that animal, that hope, that encouragement to keep pushing. Because someone's looking after you. And it's your job, it's your duty to set that example and to make sure that we create this a better world for ourselves and for those around us.